Travel is a deeply human and actually personal experience, but often it's not until we're home from our trip, whether it was for business or for leisure, that we think about the stories that we can tell to our friends, our family and our colleagues about the experiences that we had. And in my team, Corporate Communications, much of what we do is actually about telling great stories. We promote and we protect the reputation of Amadeus, but really it's about finding the ways to explain what this company does and why it's so successful. Who doesn't love a great story? A story connects to our emotions and sticks in our memory. We can make a story come to life by adding examples and anecdotes that people can relate to. In Amadeus terms, that means describing our technology in a human way. What does it do for us as travellers and what challenges does it help our customers to solve? We need to use everyday language that's jargon free. We need to write things that people actually want to read. And that's why we work closely with our sister team brand to create a consistent, powerful voice across the business. Sometimes the best stories are where you least expect them. That's why we ask our business partners lots of questions to try to uncover that winning angle. And we also have lots of brainstorms as a team to try to find the best way to make our stories stand out in a crowded marketplace. Lots of people think we only write press releases, but we do a whole lot more. We're bringing Amadeus stories to life through numerous channels, both in our own and across the industry. Whether it's a discussion paper, shining a spotlight on a major industry trend, or a byline to tap into a spokesperson's expertise and elevate their profile. We're also making the most of social media with a variety of content. Infographics to visualize a new business model or platform, blog posts to capture what's great about working in Amadeus, tweets with a photo of a leading travel influencer or giving a keynote, and more. There's a whole range of options. What are CEOs of airlines reading in the airport lounge? Which channel is most followed by travel tech startups? Which events are top travel managers attending regularly? And what publications do we need to be appearing in? It's important that our messages are seen by the right audience. We need to take a step back in order to be strategic so that our communications support our business goals. A quality piece of communication in the right place at the right time can often have a much more powerful impact than dozens of outlets saying the same thing. If that means appearing in one publication that is beloved by a top prospect CIO, so be it. It's one thing to tell a story and reach an audience, but it's another thing to make them listen, and even more so, to act. A big part of what we do is persuading people to do precisely this. There's a lot of chatter out there. There has to be something really worthwhile to stand out and capture the audience's attention. We make sure to always be informed of the latest trends and local market nuances that are shaping our industry so that our stories really resonate with our audience. Planning is everything, so a couple of days in advance is not enough to make the most of it. We're one of the few teams in the company with visibility across the whole business and all markets. This means we can make sure your story doesn't clash or conflict in terms of timing or business objectives. Often our job is keeping things away from the press. The fact that you don't hear from us could be a good thing. Our business has many facets and we need to protect all sides. And if and when a crisis does happen, of course we'll be there to support you. We have everything in place to both promote and to protect our business. We are both your comms expert and your partner in making this happen. Please check out the SharePoint to find out more about how we can help you.